Hello, this is part two of why the bark rollers charts are wrong. Here is the planetary alignment shown by the bark roller for the 16th of April 2011. Let's start by looking at his alignment for Venus, Earth and Saturn. Once again, the bark roller has shown his charts not to scale. Let's switch the orbit scale on and then we'll zoom in for a closer look. Remember that the planet sizes here are not drawn to scale, but at this stage that doesn't matter. As we can now see, Venus, Earth and Saturn are not in alignment no matter which way you look at them. Let me show you a true alignment using SimSolar. Here is a true alignment on the same date between Mars, Earth and Saturn. Now you're probably thinking, they're not aligned, the line's not straight. But remember the orbits are not shown to scale. Here is the same chart on the same date with the orbits drawn to scale. And here is the same chart zoomed in so that we can see the planets more clearly. Please note that the red lines drawn here are actually drawn by the SimSolar software alignment finder. As you can see here there is an alignment finder built into the software. There are a number of alignment options we can choose. We can run the alignment finder and it will find alignments for us and provide us with a list. The bar Corolla's alignment of Venus, Earth and Saturn is not shown at all on this date. And yes I do realise that this is only set for two planets at the moment but I have checked. Remember this is our chart for the 16th of April. This one shows an alignment between Mars, Earth and Saturn, but not between Venus, Earth and Saturn. If you have another look at the Bark Rollers video for this date, you'll see that he has not shown this alignment between Mars, Earth and Saturn. Once again, here is the day's chart, not drawn to scale. Here are the planet sizes drawn to scale relative to each other, and here is the Sun drawn to scale relative to the planets. So using a chart like this, where the orbits are not drawn to scale, it is impossible to accurately show a planetary alignment by drawing a straight line as the bar Corolla has. When we draw the orbits to scale, we see that the bar Corolla's alignment is not an alignment at all. And remember the bar Corolla's alignment of Uranus, Mars, Earth and the Moon? This is what it really looks like, yet another failed alignment. Once again, the bar Corolla has missed a true alignment between Mars, Earth and Saturn on the same date. Please review his prediction for the 16th of April, bearing in mind these facts. Thank you.